Odette welcoming you to the first ever Sport Car USA in beautiful downtown St. Albans. You're going to be seeing some of the meanest, badass cars, not only in Vermont, not only in New England, but from the entire country right here in St. Albans. So what do you say? Let's get started. Here we go with State House Representative Casey Two from St. Albans. And look what Casey is driving tonight. It's a 2002 Chevrolet Corvette with only 46,700 miles, 350 horsepower with 360 pounds of torque. It's an automatic transmission. And how about this? Zero to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. Now let's go to my co-host, Eddie Van Horsepower for more information on this beautiful Corvette. Oh. Thanks for sending it over to me, Lee. That is one beautiful Corvette. Now, did you guys know that Chevy has been making the Corvette for more than 65 years now, starting its production on this beautiful American Marvel back in 1953? They've made eight different model generations of this car. That's awesome. And this is one of the most beautiful ones I've ever seen right here. The coolest part about it, it's only a two seater. Nobody's asking you for a ride. You just take the wife or pick up a lady if you don't have a wife, go to the beach. Back to you, Lee. Let's see what beautiful car's next. And here comes Jake Smith from Andy Toyota driving a 2007 Ford Mustang Shelby GT. This car is 14 years old, and ladies and gentlemen, you won't believe it, only 6,325 miles. It has 319 horsepower, 330 pounds of torque, and it is a manual transmission. Here's one fact that Eddie Van Horsepower doesn't have. The ride height in the 2007 Shelby Mustang is one and a half inches lower than the stock Mustang. <clears throat> Good God, Lee. That is one beautifully crafted Shelby GT. Did you guys know that in 1966, Carroll Shelby put the first supercharger in a Shelby Mustang GT350 fastback? He believed it brought the horsepower up by 46%. And that kicked off a whole different animal for the Mustang back in 1966. One of the most beautiful American muscle cars. Back to you, Lee, let's see what's next. Lo and behold, here comes Zach from Handy Cars. Can you hear that rumble? We told you we were going to have some of the meanest and baddest cars in the country, and here's one right here. It's a 2003 Chevrolet Corvette with only 53,401 miles, 350 horsepower, 360 pounds of torque, and the transmission, of course, is a manual. Now, here's a known fact. The true horsepower is unknown on this vehicle. Can you believe it? The reason is Quinton Brothers installed 80 pound injectors, fuel rails, and throttle body. This baby is loud. In a recent blind survey, study found that people are very attracted to muscle cars. Let's see some more. Here comes Logan from Handy's Downtown in this black beauty. Look at it, beautiful vehicle. It's a 2020 Ford Mustang. 603 is the miles. That's right. Did you hear me right? 603 miles for this 2020 Ford Mustang. The horsepower, 460. The torque, 420 pounds. The transmission, a six-speed manual. And here's a known fact. With the performance package too, this Mustang is ready to turn some heads. You sure will hear it. Eddie Van Horsepower has some more information on this Black Beauty. Well, I don't know about that specific Black Beauty there, Lee. But I do know that in 1964 at the World Fair in New York, the Ford Mustang was officially unveiled. When that happened, it was also unveiled across the country in different showrooms, being bought up in the numbers of about 22,000. That's incredible. Back to you, Lee. Here comes Mike from Handy's Cars downtown right here in this beautiful 2008 Chevrolet Corvette. If you're looking for style, if you're looking for comfort, if you're looking for a car with eyes, this is it. It only has 40,157 miles, the horsepower 430, the torque 424 pounds, and it's an automatic. And here's a special fact that you're just going to love. 
one of only 500 manufactured ZHZ Corvettes in 2008 for Hertz. This is one of 500. Did you say one in 500? That's incredible, Lee. I'm just gonna send this right back to you, but I'm thinking yellow might just be my color. Wow, what a beautiful car. Here we go with Ethan from St. Albans Rental Cars. Look at that orange beauty. It's a special edition. We're gonna tell you all about it right now on Sport Car USA. It's a 2019 Dodge Challenger, 8,050 miles, 485 horsepower. It has 475 pounds of torque. It is an automatic. The true horsepower on this Challenger is unknown. Hellcat motor intakes added at the factory. And here we go. The Scat Pack Challenger occupies the space between the RTs and the Hellcats. Not too much power, not too little, just right and at a value price. This one is a special edition, as I mentioned. The 1320 Drag Pack, commonly called the Angry Bee or Baby Demon, and is one of only 1,026 manufactured in the US of A or 28 for Canada in 2019. Only 300 more have been added to the count since then. I don't know if Eddie has any more information on this, but I bet he does. Yeah, Lee, I do have a little something to say. And that is that American car makers did something super genius in the early 2000s. And that is that they thought about the baby boomers. And they knew that in the 1960s and 1970s, those guys were driving and souping up muscle cars back in high school, taking them to the strip on the weekends. And they all lived through their 20s, 30s, and even into their 40s, growing their kids. Their kids are leaving the house and now it was time that they wanted to relive those glory days. No offense, guys, midlife crisis will get you. And they knew it. And one after the other, the great car makers started bringing out new models of those old muscle cars. And Dodge wasn't far behind in 2008, releasing these newer models of the Dodge Challenger. Growing to what you just saw, beautiful car. Back to you. At Sport Car USA, we're all about muscle. And muscle includes the Chevrolet Camaro. My good friend, Jean Marie from Handy Toyota is driving this beautiful car. It's a 2019 Chevrolet Camaro SS2SS, only 4,521 miles. It has 455 horsepower, 455 pounds of torque, and it's a manual transmission. Now here's what's really special about this car that Jean Marie is driving. One of only seven, that's right, it's one of only seven Camaros in 2019 available for sale in the entire US of A with this configuration. That's pretty special. You're right, Lee. This is one incredible Chevy Camaro and crazy rare. Fun thing about the Chevy Camaro is in 2002, they stopped making them. And when it was time to bring out the 2010 Baby Boomer Edition, like I was talking about earlier, they sought after Hollywood to make that release. In the 2007 Transformers movie, you saw at the end of that movie, Bumblebee turned into the beautiful 2010 Chevy Camaro model, and I dropped my jaw. Did you? Back to you, Lee. And here comes Errol Rule from Handy's Toyota and Handy's Downtown with a 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Look at this beautiful charcoal gray color. I owned a 2014 Chevrolet Corvette and absolutely loved that vehicle. The horsepower on this puppy, 450. The torque, 450 pounds. It's a seven speed manual transmission. Now here's a known fact. The 2014 Corvette Stingray was clocked going in reverse at 53 miles per hour. That's two miles per hour behind the record. That is a significant record. At Sport Car USA, we love the North Hero House Inn and Restaurant. And here's the general manager behind this Hellcat Challenger. It's Desiree Maltese. And Desiree is driving a 2016 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. That's right, it's a Hellcat. 27,000 miles, 707 horsepower. The torque is 650 pounds and it is an automatic. It's the best power dollar in the entire world. Only five other production cars in the world deliver more horsepower and all of them are manufactured in other countries. Yeah, not to mention that they're priced 
will probably bring tears to your eyes. So check out this Challenger Hellcat. It's truly a special car. Horsepower is great on Sport Car USA, but to hear it is something special. And this is what you're going to get with Mason here behind the wheel from Handy Toyota. Mason has a 2014 Ford Shelby GT500. The mileage, 9,526. It has 662 horsepower. The torque is 631 pounds. It's a six-speed manual transmission. Now, here's a fact for you. It has an alleged top speed of 202 miles per hour and an 11.6 second quarter mile speed at 125 miles per hour. Eddie Van Horsepower, I know you've got some more information on this unbelievable car. Did you just say 600 plus horsepower in that bad boy? Talk about burning rubber, what a gorgeous car. Taking that for a joy ride after. All right, guys, did you know in 1967 was the first year Ford released the GT500? And at that time, it was the most powerful Mustang yet. Coming in with a seven liter engine, that's 428 cubic inches of raw power. And man, do these GT500 seem to lead the lineup of horsepower today. <laughs> Let's wrap this up, Lee. So there you have it, our first ever Sport Car USA in beautiful downtown St. Albans. I think it went pretty well, guys, don't you think? Yay! All right, all right. We want you to let us know what was your favorite ride tonight? What was your favorite sound, the horsepower? Tell us all about Sport Car USA that you enjoyed this evening. Yeah, leave a comment below. Tell us what was your favorite driver? What was your favorite car? And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Sport Car USA and hit that bell notification. You'll get notified next month when we launch the next one. We're ready for more. That's it, America. Another edition of Sport Car USA coming soon. We'll see you soon. Have a great time. Yeah. Yeah. Spurn rubber. <laughs>